One of our members on the Discord community asked how we can place a button on an input like in this coding challenge. So let me show you how. We're going to need a wrapper and inside it, we're going to need the input and the button, which will hold an SVG. As you can see right now, the button goes next to the input, but we're going to use positioning to place the button on top. We need the wrapper to do this because the input can't accept elements inside it. So what we're going to do is to make the input take up the entire space of the wrapper. And then using position absolute, we're going to place the button on top of the input. So for the CSS first, we're going to start the wrapper with a width, a max width of 100%. So it stays inside the page and very important position wrap. Next, the input inside the wrapper, as I mentioned, we're going to make it width 100% and let's give it some basic style, just like that to make it look pretty. And of course the button will have a background of white border radius of 50% and let's make it a height of 100% and aspect ratio of one. This way we'll make sure that the height and width are the same. So now for the fun part, we're going to place the button on top of the input. And as mentioned, we're going to use position to do it. Since we have position relative on the parent, adding position absolute on the button will position it relative to the wrapper. So let's do position absolute. And as you can see already position next to the input, but we want it to be on top of it. So we can say right zero. And there you go. You have the button perfectly aligned with the input. Why? Because the input takes up exactly the same way as the wrapper. So then the button having right zero it's placed on the right side of the wrapper. We can also make sure it's always stays on the top with top zero, but this is not absolutely necessary in this case because we have height 100%. But if we want to make a slight adjustment to the button, so we have a bit of space around it, we can decrease the height to 80% and now we can lower the button to fill up the remaining space. So if we subtract 100% from 80, that's 20%, we divide by two, so for the top and bottom spacing, that leaves us with 10%. And now it's perfectly centered. We can also add some pixels to the right, so it looks better on that side. We can't use percentage here because 10% means 10% of the parent element, which is the wrapper. So it won't work in this case. We could, although, leave zero here and use transform translate x minus 10%. And this way it moves 10% to the left of its own width, which of course is equals to its own height as we set aspect ratio to one. So that's pretty much it. You've learned position relative and absolute and how to place elements wherever you want inside other elements. If we didn't have position relative here on the wrapper, then the button will look like this. Why? Because it won't be relative to the wrapper, but it will be relative to the whole body. If you're looking to improve your front-end skills, check out iCodis.com where you can solve this challenge, which I showed you already. Well, we actually only did a part of it, but alongside this challenge, you also have access to many, many, many more projects you can complete. On a daily basis, we add new challenges to improve your coding skills.